welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about Paxlovid, a COVID-19 drug, may interact with common heart medications. A review paper published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology examines the potential drug-drug interaction or DDIs between Paxlovid and commonly used cardiovascular medications as well as potential options to mitigate severe adverse effects. Paxlovid received emergency use authorization from the US FDA in December 2021 as an oral antiviral agent for the treatment of symptomatic, non-hospitalized adults with mild to moderate COVID-19 infections infection who are at high risk for progression to severe disease. Now, patients with heart disease and other risk factors including diabetes, high BP, chronic kidney disease and smoking make up a large portion of the high risk population for whom Paxlovid is beneficial. Five of the most important cardiovascular drug interactions with Paxlovid to be aware of include the following. Antiarrhythmic agents. Antiarrhythmic agents are used to manage abnormal heart rhythm. Many of these drugs are metabolized in a way that increases plasma levels when co-administered with Paxlovid. Antiplatelet agents and anticoagulants. There's an increased risk of blood clots when Paxlovid is given alongside clopidogrel and an increased risk of bleeding when given with tisagrelor. The plasma levels of all direct oral anticoagulants increase when co-administered with Paxlovid. Therefore, dose adjustment or temporary discontinuation and use of alternative anticoagulants may be required. Certain statins. Now, co-administration of simvastatin or lovastatin with Paxlovid can lead to increased plasma levels and subsequent muscle weakness or myopathy and rhabdomyolysis. Next is ranolazine. Plasma concentration of ranolazine used to treat angina and other heart-related chest pain is exponentially increased in the presence of CPY450 inhibitors like Paxovid, thereby increasing the risk of critically significant QT prolongation and torsade de pointis. Immunosuppressive agents the plasma levels of immunosuppressive agents prescribed for patients who have undergone heart transplantation exponentially rise to toxic levels when co-administered with Paxlovid. The authors conclude, awareness and availability of other COVID-19 therapies enable clinicians to offer alternative treatment options to patients who are unable to take Paxlovid due to DDIs. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.